as we talk a little bit more about in diversity and inclusion, um, we talked about some of these these tools for success. You know, we're talking about materials in both languages or multiple languages. Yep. Talking about having people who can speak multiple languages. Um, are there any other resources that you guys are finding lenders are leaning towards to help with overcome some of the challenges that they're facing when it comes to servicing individuals with different backgrounds, not just Hispanic, but you know, whether they're black or Asian or they come yeah. from the, the South Pacific, you know, having these different cultural backgrounds that maybe they do speak English, but they have a different understanding of our systems and of our industry. You know, I see that I definitely know lenders, like big lenders, still have that community person. It could be mm -hmm. a different title, like community, I don't know, community business mm -hmm. development or something. Mm -hmm. But it's, that position is becoming really important. You know, I live currently in Florida. Of course, it's huge Hispanic Latino. But what people don't know, sometimes it's huge Caribbean in general. Mm, like yeah. you have a huge Haitian population. And you're going to have completely it. different mortgage systems yes. in those countries than here. Absolutely. It, exactly. So um, and they come here and it's they 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 that is one um, one of my big clients is a complete and all a Haitian uh, wow. pitch broker. And they do extremely well within their community, but that representation has to be there, right? So you see a lot of banks, big ones, even, you know, Bank of America, PNC, they'll have mm -hmm. specific community person for that demographic. Like they'll have it, they understand it. And I noticed that there's that position. Um, it's still, it's still growing, mm -hmm. it's still growing. 